hamster, guess what? What? Pixie TV is back! Long time. In case you see me all the time. But enough about that. Welcome to Big C TV. This is episode one of the brand new Big C TV. We're calling it episode one, despite the fact that we've already been running for a while, because this is a new chapter in the world of Big C TV. This is the new series as we like to call it. Not that we're pretending that our GameSpot and two YouTube episodes did not exist. They did very much so exist. But this is the new version. This is the new era of Big C TV. And we hope that you will enjoy what we have in store. So today's episode is mostly just going to be catching you up on what's going on in my life particularly. Um, there's a lot. But before I begin, um, just want to tell you what's going on. It's December 2nd, 2010. Uh, my birthday is a couple days away, which is really exciting. Um, I still work at Disney, which I didn't when I did my last episode. So, for those of you who did not know that, I do work at Disney now. Um, I was in Disney College program from May of 2009 until May of 2010. Then I was seasonal at Mission Space at Epcot from May of 2010 until August of 2010. And I'm currently part-time at Splash Mountain. So there you go, that's where I work now. I live in Claremont, um, not too far away from Disney World in Orlando. So that's a little bit about me and what's going on. Anyway, in today's episode I'm going to go over a good chunk of the uh, the stuff that I've gotten within the last few, um, I guess I should say months since I've gotten this stuff since October, um, as well as show off my cool toy I just got today. And when I say toy, I'm actually serious. And yeah, so I mean it's not exactly the most happening first episode back, but hey, it's something. And uh, there will be plenty more of these to come, so keep watching you'll see more so anyway we're gonna get things started with my latest purchases slash gifts most of them are purchases though so here are game purchases and you movies and whatever else I purchased okay so this is pretty much dating all the way back to October I'll show off this stuff um, first thing I'm going to show you is this. In case you didn't know what this is, this is the Toy Story 3, well, Toy Story, um, giant collector's box. It comes in a replica of Andy's toy chest. If you look inside it, it includes all three Toy Story movies in Blu-ray, DVD, and combo pack. It also includes the bonus disc for Toy Story 3 on um, Blu-ray, which is awesome. So. Yeah, that was a pretty good setup. I got that for, I think, 50 or 60. I think 60. Yeah. So anyway, this is back in October. I got Fable 3. I'm working on, um, trying to beat it. Haven't played it as much as I probably should. I really should need to, do need to play it more. Um, it's one of the games I'm currently working on, so I'm sure I'll progress in it as I go along. Next one is Rock Band 3. I got the keyboard pack, so it includes the keyboard peripheral too. Um, Love Rock Band 3 plays great. Haven't really had that much time to play it since I'm working a lot, going to school, and uh, got a lot of other games to play. But I'm, I'm progressively working on it, so uh, we'll see how quickly I can get through it. Next one, this is the week after. So I thought it was close to late October. These are later October. 
like right around the end of October. I got Connect for Xbox 360. I'm going to do an episode in the future that shows us off playing Connect, but um, couldn't really do that today just because I need to get an episode out. I've been talking about it for a while and wouldn't really have that much time anyway because i got to catch up. So um, That will happen eventually, but not this time. But anyway, we have Connect. So in addition to Connect, we got Connect Sports. That comes with Connect. I also had to get an extra game for it because, I mean, you can't live on one game alone for any cool peripheral. So I got Dance Central. I uh, really like both of those. They're both really fun party games. Um, would definitely recommend both of them. They're quite enjoyable. Anyway, we're going to November, early November of 2010. So, the week after Kinect came out, I originally intended to go to Best Buy to pick up Scott Pilgrim vs. the World on Blu-ray. If you have not seen Scott Pilgrim, what is wrong with you, you need to go watch it. It is one of the best movies of 2010, by far. Um, probably f my number three movie, currently on the list behind Inception and Toy Story 3. So, if you haven't watched it, do it. If you're a game fan especially, if you're one of my old GameSpot fans and uh, you're watching my new Big CTV, you definitely need to get get by this movie. You're going to love it. Anyway, so I originally intended just to come home with that and I also came home with, with a little bit of prodding from my friend, Call of Duty Black Ops, which I have to admit the more I uh, think about it, the more I'm glad I did because Call of Duty Black Ops is a fantastic game. I uh, really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Like the mini games, campaigns, really intense. It's quite good. Okay, so a week after that, another game that I wanted to get, was probably going to wait on because it was a little pricey at the time, but decided, eh, what the hell, I'll get it anyway. Uh, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit for 360. That is an awesome game if you're into racing. Uh, definitely check it out. I'm working my way through it, trying to progress as I go along, so uh, it's going along pretty nicely. The same time as a early present for my roommates and for me, because um, we're all kind of playing Monopoly a lot, the original Monopoly game on 360. Um, also picked up Monopoly Streets for 360. Uh, that's a good game. If you're a big Monopoly fan, uh, you'll definitely enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, playing the game from a street level is pretty unique. So, I think uh, a lot of fans will like that. So next I'm going to go to my Black Friday haul from last week. So now we're almost caught up to nowadays. Um, I mentioned it on my GameSpot blog, for those who actually still read it. Um, I got a decent sized haul at Walmart. I unfortunately had to call in from my work because there was no way I was going to wake up in time. And um, instead I decided to go to Walmart since I was stuck home during the morning. So I picked up the following. In addition to uh, these, I also got some bonuses on Xbox Live. I got Explosion Man for 160 Microsoft points, which is $2. I also got TMNT uh, Turtles in Time for 2 bucks. I got the Credence Clearwater Revival Track Pack for Rock Band for Four dollars, I think five dollars actually, and I also got a gas mask from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for my avatar for like a dollar fifty or something like that. So, in addition to that, I got these on DVD. I got role models for five dollars from Walmart. Pretty good deal. It's a good movie if you haven't seen it. I got Observe and Report on DVD for two dollars. Um, it was alright. I mean, I thought it would be funnier. It wasn't as funny as I thought or hoped it would be, but take what you get. Next up is Gran Torino on DVD for $5. Great movie if you haven't seen it. It has racism and it's a pretty intense film, but uh, if you're a fan of Clint Eastwood and you want to see Crash Deal, Man Kicks a Mass, um, definitely recommend Gran Torino. On Blu-ray, I picked up Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince 
for $10, which for a new Blu-ray, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. I've wanted to get half of prints for a while. Um, normally at Walmart it's $20, so getting it half off, I'm quite content with. Next one's a little bit more of a steal than half blood prints. I got Get Them to the Greek, the Blu-ray combo pack. Well, Blu-ray and um, digital copy. That was $10 as well, which that's a newer movie. Um, it's normally around 30 to 35, so getting it for 10, that's a really good steal. The last thing I got was the one game. I was originally going to pick up a couple games, but I figure, you know, if I'm going to get a game cheap, I might as well get one that I know I'm going to play a lot, and I've been craving football a lot lately. So I picked up NCAA Football 2011 for 360 Um That was for $30. It's normally 60 although right now it's selling on sale for 50 so... Either way, I still got it for a good deal. So, that was my Black Friday haul, and that's all I've gotten. So, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I haven't really bought anything else. That's that's quite a bit to begin with. I'm hoping I'll get some stuff for my birthday and Christmas, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So anyway, now for the last few minutes of today's Big C TV, I'm going to show off my new toy that my roommate bought me for my birthday. Bless Lee. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is a guy who's turning 22 excited about a Buzz Lightyear? This isn't just a Buzz Lightyear. This is the ultimate Buzz Lightyear. And let me show you what I mean. There's a secret mission in uncharted space. Well, that's pretty cool. But, watch this. To infinity and beyond! Again, that's pretty cool. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. That's a little different. Now, let's see what happens when I do this. Hello! Alright, time for laser practice. Let's find a target. That's pretty cool. Buzz Lightyear! Thank you. I would prefer some quiet time. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. And of course he does this. As soon as I can press it. The enemy has fled. We must follow him. Let's go. He has lighting up wings exactly as they are from the movie. So yeah, he's pretty amazing. And he can turn into multiple modes. Like I can put his helmet down. Helmet in locked position. I'm ready for adventure. So yeah. He's pretty much the coolest thing ever. I am Buzz Lightyear. Now he's in toy mode. He has multiple modes of play. So, yeah. I have to say... Sorry. I'm trying to put him away. Uh, thank you very much to my roommate for giving me this awesome present. It really is the coolest thing ever. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much going to do it. Unfortunately, we... <laughs> Trying to catch up on everything ran out of time pretty quick. But, this is just the beginning. Remember, this is only episode one of the new series. So look for new episodes in the future. We are going to do our Connect demonstration episode. Um, I'll show off what I got for my birthday, in addition to Buzz over here. Um, plenty of other good stuff. And Big CTV is not just going to be me sitting here talking like this episode. It's going to be going out and doing adventures. Of course, we're not going to be overlapping with Thrill Seekers, completely different entity. Um, so if it's not Thrill Seekers worthy, uh, you'll probably see it on here. And uh, yeah, so that's it for Big C TV. I am Chris. I will see you later. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully you'll join us again for another episode. Laters.